Barcelona. We're in Barcelona. As soon as we landed, we took the bus into the city. It was only about a 30 minute ride. This was my first time being in Europe, so I was completely stunned by the architecture, the aged stone walls, and narrow streets. Then we went to Mercado de la Boqueria, which is Barcelona's most famous market where you can find fresh food of every kind. Our Airbnb was only a 10 minute walk from the market, so afterwards we just walked around the area. You're quiet. And you see our shadow. Hello. <laughs> The next day on our hunt for coffee, we stumbled upon this group of people that looked like they were getting a tour. We asked what the tour was for, and they said it was just this weekend where they were giving free tours of historic buildings and apartments all around the city. I have to admit, most of the tour was in Catalan, the local language in Barcelona. We thought the tour was going to be in Spanish, so at least Kirk could follow along, and I could pick out a few words. So, unfortunately, we missed a lot of the background story. <laughs> da, 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 da. Yeah, from here, there. Okay, how is this chocolate made? It looks so good. Look at the texture. The next site on the tour belonged to a famous architect. His entryway had this stunning bench, designed by him, of course, and it also features some of his work all around the house. He has a skylight in his couch, which is just awesome. Day three, of course, starts with trying a new coffee shop nearby. And a croissant to go. After that, we made our way to La Sagrada Familia, one of the most iconic basilicas in the world. This fountain reminds me of Harry Potter, the Chamber of Secrets. We are in line to get into La Sagrada Familia, the cathedral, and it's so stunning. I just want to keep staring at it because the details are incredible. Imagine you're one of those Jews just chiseling away on the cathedral and you broke the nose off of someone. You'd just be like, oh, dang, I'm so going to get fired. <laughs> <laughs> we just downloaded the audio tour on our phone and you get to choose your own language. And it's so cool. So we can go the tour in our own speed. We're inside. It's so stunning. The camera's not wide enough to capture the whole thing, but we're gonna start the audio tour and Kurt's gonna listen to his in Spanish and I'm gonna listen to mine in English and somehow we'll wind up in the same place. Construction of the Basilica started in March 1882, 140 years ago. To this day, it is still under construction. The architect that designed this, Anton Gaudi, only saw less than a quarter of it complete by the time of his death in 1926. After doing the audio tour, I learned that every single detail, such as where the windows were faced, the color they were, how tall the tip of the basilica was, had a meaning behind it. We're 
grabbing some sushi right now. We just got out of La Sagrada Familia and we did the audio tour which is really cool. I like the audio tour because we get to like take our time with things and pause in the areas, soak it all in. It was so cool inside. Just the moment walking in, the sun hitting the windows. It was just such a cool experience. We're on day three of our trip. Crazy how time flies. We have eight days here. The area we're staying by is called the Gothic Quarter. It seems to be like the hub place to stay because we're right next to the cathedral of Barcelona and we're close to all these cool alleys and shops. It's a great area to stay. Just the other day we were just wandering around, there's this lady performing in one of these alleys and because the buildings are so tall, it's like super echoey and she didn't even need a mic for us to all hear her. halfway across the world just for sushi. I got a yakitori and seaweed salad and Kurt's got this little maki combo. We're having just a little picnic in front of the cathedral. I swear we don't only eat Asian food. We're gonna have to get some good paella at some point. Just almost only. Yesterday, Kurt found this like cool little Asian strip because he was hunting for boba and then right next to the boba was this like Asian dessert place and it was so cool. The guy that owns the place was like switching between three languages with us because he was speaking English and Mandarin and, and, Spanish. and also Spanish, which is like the coolest thing. It was thing. so cool. It was like some superpower. <laughs> <laughs> They're so cool! We just spoke, I just spoke Cantonese with them! You spoke like four different languages. Oh my gosh! It's Actually three, did we ever speak English? No, so they said that their English wasn't great, but Spanish was good. her Spanish was so good. Yeah. They said they came here like 10 years ago, and she said the fruits are like fresher here. You can have the ocean nearby, the weather is always perfect. So she's got everything right, like she knows where it's at. We gotta come back. Yeah. This is a really cute place. Pigeons, maybe. <laughs> they don't eat pigeons. Oh no. Pigeons look kind of good. <laughs> <laughs> Such a dream to be here during Golden Hour. We got some cool photos. We're gonna head to a meetup, like a language exchange meetup. It's supposed to be like a board game night, and they're gonna play board games. And Kurt's dragging me. Hopefully, they <laughs> speak English so I can play games with them. We were able to rent a boat! Yeah! Yay. A physical workout! <laughs> oh. Got her in just in the nick of time. They end at 6. We got there at like 6.01. And he still let us in! So we got half an hour here. And Kurt's being such a trooper for rowing for both of us. I'm gonna go help him. <laughs> trooper and pretty much wrote the whole time because apparently I wasn't really helpful. <laughs> we were spinning towards a direction so one of us is rowing harder than the other. And yeah we won't name any names. Yeah, yeah you know. So Kira's like you know I think it's more efficient if I rode. <laughs> <laughs> Something we've been really like doing is we just pick like a random destination. Like right now we're heading to that meetup and I'm looking for paella and we're walking everywhere so this is like a 50 minute walk. I feel like we get to see more of the city that way. That. We're yeah. there. Grabbing some paella. Yeah. Oh, we've been finding the hack of eating all the food. We just like get a bunch of little meals everywhere. So today we've had two like mini meals so we can like eat everything. So, so far we've had sushi. I'm just here eating and making up for myself. <laughs> no, please go on. Oh, we had like little chicken wings at that bar, that language meetup that we went to. And boba. Okay, today is day four, and we stopped by this beach. 
And I got a mini croissant. Everything looks so good. I'm so excited to try everything. The world's smallest croissant. There's so much flavor packed in one little croissant, and it's so good. We're at a sushi buffet. All of this is included. Oh my god, I can't operate this. Oh my goodness, I can't. There's no words right now. <laughs> I'm just so hungry. You order on this little thing, and then you submit it all here, and then they just bring it to you. And this looks so legit. I'm the type of girl that orders fried rice at a buffet. <laughs> My family would always make fun of me for ordering all these carb heavy things whenever I go to buffet. Like I would get like fries and rice and buns over like the expensive meats because I just like eating them. Now we're feeling much slower, much more content after all that food. But one thing I don't understand is how that was 18 euros. How that was 18 euros a person for like legit sushi. And they don't believe in tipping here and no tax. Oh, but the weird thing is they do charge for water. I don't think tap water is a thing here, even though Google says it's safe. But whenever we go out to eat, they always give us like bottled waters. It is a Tuesday night at like 11 p.m. And there's still like so many people just out eating. It's awesome, guys. Dick waffle. What the heck? <laughs> Kurt was like, wait, that's that's definitely a dick, right? But then no. At the dick waffle? Yeah. Okay. Wait, it's, it's right here. <gasps> it's in the name. <laughs> oh my god, that's hilarious. I have enough footage of walking down alleys yet, but here is some more. I forgot to mention the street where I just got my coffee. It's probably my favorite street so far in Barcelona. It's just always so crowded and lively. Tons of little shops. All right, Kurt's got his boba. Really good too. From QT. What'd you get? We got vanilla, hot with boba. And you spoke Spanish with the lady? Actually, we spoke basically just Chinese. Oh, cute! Yeah. I wanted to give them an update because I legitimately feel sore, especially my calves <laughs> from yesterday. Which day do you think we walk the most? This is day five. I have day to five. confess, I saw that yesterday was 29,000. I think that might be the most. So, we might take it slow today. We might. We're gonna try the metro system because we're on our way to an escape room. Bueno, Vicente, luego te llamo. Let's get it. Just got out of our escape room and it was so much fun. It was so scary. It was based on the saw. And what was really different about this room was it started right when you go inside. Like usually when you go to an escape room, someone like greets you, they tell you to put your bags down and tell you the rules. But this one, as soon as you enter, it was like this dark hallway. And there's just this voice from the saw movies telling you what to do. Like put your bags down in silence put hand sanitizers on your hands. Now that in hindsight, like this sounds stupid, but it was really scary at the time. Now we're just grabbing some coffee, this like cute little bakery place. I got a frappuccino. They even gave us a cookie with it. So cute. It's like we're in like someone's castle. We are at Lavin's Park. We took a cab over here and it's supposed to be this really cool park where you like walk through this maze. It already looks so stunning in here. Everything looks like a castle and it looks like we just travel through time. It's a wild Kurt in a maze. This is Halloween act. Ah! This is the beginning. This is where we started. Kurt, I think we failed. Chose the wrong path. Our whole day has felt like an escape from so far. I don't know what I expected, but this is apparently an actual maze. You can get lost and fail this maze. <laughs> but we're doing great. We found another way. The cheese, Kurt. Where's the cheese? Do you smell it? Okay, guys. Left, right, or follow Kurt. Oh, not oh. that way. Okay, all right. This is the way. <laughs> we chose the wrong way. I am in the center of this fountain thing, and then there are eight of these. Which way is the right way? Even though we've been sitting here, we've been kind of watching people come in and out of certain ones of these, I feel like we kind of deduced which one is the right one. Five-year-old girl hacked the system. What'd she do? She went through the fence. 
<laughs> That's definitely not supposed to be a bath. <laughs> she knew what she was She'll doing. She'll outlive all yeah. of us. Kurt, what do you think this is for? Uh, I think it's so the fish can evolve <laughs> and come on land and eat us. <laughs> we just left Parks Labyrinth. We've been walking for a while. I think we're about like an hour and 50 minutes from our Airbnb. So we're attempting another epic walk in search for dinner. Dinner will be needed. We need to find something epic to eat though, Kurt. Yes. Yesterday we awarded ourselves with Sushi Buffet and we are definitely going back there for like the lunch version tomorrow yes. or something. Because it was so legit. I still don't understand the pricing, but I'm not questioning it. It's the climb. More uphill climb. That right there is where we're walking to. That's dinner. That represents dinner. All right. So far. I know. Crazy thing is it's actually much further than the distance we've already walked. That is a crazy sky. Daddy. Yeah? This way of walking looks a little bit um silly. <laughs> Some might say stupid. <laughs> okay, don't knock it till you try it. It's better for your knees. Okay, I'm trying it. Okay, I feel silly. It really is easier. Because it's either this or the crab walk method. Crab think... people, crab people, crab people. <laughs> I think the crab walk is slower, so. And looks equally silly, if we're being honest. <laughs> It is so good. Woo. Okay, so they didn't have my churro in that one, but they did have Kurt's gelato. Yes, which is incredible. I'm just questioning the structural integrity of the <laughs> two scoops stacked on top of each other. We're on the hunt for my churro and hot chocolate. I saw it somewhere and I'm determined to get it tonight. They said it was another 20 minutes, but we're going to another one. Live from Barcelona. Mm. 